Alright, um, where should we start? Alright, when did you, uh, when did you start drawing? When did I start drawing? Yeah, how'd you get into it? I've always been into it. I remember tracing, um, uh, comic strips. Peanuts, Schultz, that kind of stuff, second grade. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if I was tracing or drawing by second grade, but I was certainly, uh, I was certainly pretty immersed in it, and that's all I did for years. I mean, lots of years, <laughs> is, is draw cartoons. Did anybody turn you on to it, or did you just kind of discover it yourself? Well, I think I just discovered it in the paper, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever other books I had lying around, which were probably a couple Peanuts books. And um, uh, at some point, 70, God, what year, 74, eight, somewhere around when I was eight years old, I guess that would also put me in second grade or something, mm -hmm. there, I, I, at, at the elementary school book fair, I bought myself a book called the Peanuts. The Peanuts or the Charlie? The Charlie Brown got big book of questions and answers or something like that. And it basically was like, like telling you things like uh, when, you, um, uh, when you burn yourself on a hot stove, the signal doesn't go all the way to your brain. It just goes to your spine and then tells you to drop the damn thing because it's really hot. And it just has a picture of Charlie Brown going, ah, like that. <laughs> um, so it was good for elementary school. But in it, in, and I still have this book, in the, the inside cover, I signed it to myself. I wrote to Tom Hart from Tom Hart, July 1977 or something like that. And um, so I was always into it. And I think I had to self, uh, I think I had to sort of um, turn myself onto things now and then. Like I found that and I bought, ordered it or bought it or I don't know. I don't know if anyone was guiding me at that time, but everything for a long time was, was Charlie Brown and Peanuts. And Did you read any other comics as a kid? Or well, sure. Anything mainstream or just... All I read was either comic strips or Mad Magazine. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> yeah. Um, and, you know, I liked... I kind of liked all the comic strips because they were all... Well, no, that's not really true. But mostly, they were they were just this world in a box, which for some reason I really I really gravitated to, I like the the world made out of lines in this box. But sometimes they freaked me out. Dick Tracy freaked me out. Too strange, mm. um, and it didn't really relate to my and other like there's a lot of hillbilly comics still around at the time. Those didn't I didn't get those either. Snuffy Smith and um, maybe there was just that one. Gasoline Alley was still around, and that was a little too small town, even though I lived in a small town. I think, I think even then the aesthetics were still the like weird 1930s aesthetics or 40s maybe, and Gasoline Alley and Snuffy Smith and were these, and even Dick Tracy maybe to some degree, they were still running on this sort of momentum they had established very early, um, decades earlier, and, uh, and I don't know, those creeped me out. But in general, I liked all that. Comic, all the comic strips I could find, but I loved Peanuts. Peanuts um, great, yeah. yeah, and I and I totally loved Mad Magazine, and I you know sort of had my favorite artist, but I never read comic books of any kind except at a friend's house. Like he had a stack of Richie Rich next to the bathroom, next to the toilet, like Richie Rich and maybe the occasional like um, hot stuff or something. So I'd read those in his bathroom, but mostly I was all into comic strips. It's a long answer for a simple no, that's question, great. isn't that's it? Fine. Um, what kind of comics do you read now? Do you, are you into a lot of online comics, or do you like more under the radar kind of independent works? Yeah, well, I think I've gotten to that point where I see so many comics that that um, I don't seek them out as much as I as I could. And what I wound up reading is things that have already been recommended. You know, if if the sort of word amongst my peers or something is, oh, you should check out this book, I'll check it out. Um, uh, I. Just because I'm, I read so many comics. I read them. You know, I read so much student work. I read, um, and I'm constantly trying to, trying to further my sort of sense of history too. So I'm always going back and reading things I haven't read in the past, which might be, um, might be old Popeye strips, which I haven't even come close to finishing the ten years, <laughs> ten years of that. Um, and uh, you know, there's always some some story to to go back or try and translate some French thing or something. Um, and, but online, I don't read a lot online. I sort of hate it. I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. It's, why is that? Yeah. I hate sitting in front of my computer. Like, okay. I, I, I spend a lot of time drawing or writing. And, uh, and then on the computer, I spend some time emailing and then maybe.